In this video guys, I simply want to talk to you about 7 fragrances that are basically the same thing. I mean designer fragrances, fragrances which you can actually purchase from a fragrance store and that they smell almost identical and if not identical then most of the time almost identical and you don't need any two of these. If you want something that it's really original you will have to go for Paco Rabanne's Invictus. Yes guys, these are all fragrances that are either copying or trying to get the same vibe from Paco Rabanne's Invictus. I don't like Paco Rabanne's Invictus, but at least it's an original. It's a masterpiece if you could say so because all these great designer houses are trying to copy it they're all going in the same direction so this video is going to be more of a roast towards these other designers they put very little effort into creating a fragrance so here we go out of these seven fragrances the first one is Paco Rabanne's Invictus so you don't need any other if you have this one Moving on, we have the fragrance which I actually own and it's the only Paco Rabanne's Invictus smell-alike fragrance that I need because I don't really need so many fragrances that smell like Invictus. It's Azaro Wanted. When you see this bottle, you're gonna see this revolver-looking bottle like something from the Western. You will think that you're gonna get a smell like Clint Eastwood would wear, you know, a smell that is going to blow your cowboy hat off. But the only thing that you're gonna get blown away by is disappointment. This fragrance is a bit cheaper than Invictus, but if you're talking about new creations, original creations, this is not it. Moving on to a fragrance called Bad diesel bad nothing much to say about this fragrance the title says it all this fragrance is just bad if we are at the word bad let's stay a bit around and let's talk about the newest release from the house of carolina herrera called bad boy wow now wait a sec when you're gonna see the bottle this thunderbolt looking bottle which in my opinion is ugly space occupying big looking bottle which is definitely desperately trying to draw attention and here I'm going to take a pause and I'm gonna say that here's where the fragrance industry is going in which direction because they are putting very less little effort into trying to make original creations they're putting big efforts into making attention grabbing bottles and they are definitely trying to draw the attention of the new noses of the youngsters who are trying to purchase their first fragrance because what when, what do you do when you go into a store and want to purchase a fragrance you get drawn by the shiny or nice looking bottles if you can say so and the youngsters are definitely drawn by bottles that are shaped as objects now Paco Rabanne created the trend with one million with the golden bar and with Invictus the cup and now the other designers are desperately trying to draw attention but the smell the fragrance they're putting inside is definitely the same syrupy sweet syrupy smell like Invictus this has slight differences but it's basically the same thing so when you see the bottle the thunderbolt you're gonna think that when you smell the fragrance you're gonna get struck by thunder great smelling fragrance but what you're gonna get struck by is disappointment the next fragrance is one that I made a video about it recently it's David of run wild I simply told you you just stay away from it don't buy it it simply smells 
like Invictus. Now again, when you see the bottle, the screen, ozonic, almost herbal-like, you're gonna think that inside the bottle is life itself, especially if you look at the commercial, two people in the water, in the nature, you're gonna think that this is definitely something that smells like nature, like life, airy. Well, no, you're gonna smell Invictus. Now the next fragrance is a big, big disappointment because it's coming from a house with such a big name. It's coming from the house of Giorgio Armani. I'm talking about Aqua di Gio Absolute, which is an absolute, same smelling, same, same thing, the same vibe like Invictus. But again, when you see the bottle, you see this classy brown looking bottle, gentleman type of a bottle. You're gonna say it's, this is how a man should smell like. Like Invictus, right? The last one is from a house which I had a great respect for because they didn't have so many releases but they had only good ones. I'm talking about the house of Victor and Rob. And they had this great fragrance called Spice Bomb, which is legendary. But this new flanker called Night Vision is just... When you see the bottle, you see this almost green elixir type of liquid, which almost gives you the impression that you're gonna get superpowers when using it. But the only thing you're gonna get when using it is this great disappointment. So if you have any other fragrances that smell like this, leave them in a comment below and let's make this huge list that sh clearly states what is going on with the fragrance industry. All I have to say is that until the next video, just keep smelling great.